It has been exactly one year since I traveled to Argentina. So this video is inspired by this beautiful country. I was fortunate enough to travel to Argentina quite a few times. In fact, Argentina was the first Latin American country I have ever visited. So you can imagine my excitement. The culture was completely new, including food. Just before I continue talking about food, let's clarify a few things. No, they don't dance tango every day. But yes, they do really like a beer. Once I got there, I was introduced to a local pizza topped with faena, ice cream, Malbec wine, dulce de leche, pasta, and finally, empanadas. Traveling around the world, I noticed that many different countries have their own version of empanadas. Here in the UK, it's called Cornish pasty, Lithuania, Kibinei, Italy, Panzerotti, and so on. I was quite amazed how popular empanadas were. And actually, you cannot have a friends gathering or family meeting without empanadas. It is such a big part of Argentinian culture and cuisine, and tourists normally don't leave the country without having tried it. Since I'm friends with vegetables, I will share the recipe of vegan empanadas. Argentinians, please accept my apologies if it's not what you are used to, as I know your traditional empanadas are made of beef, and pastry normally contains butter or lard. Let's start with the dough. Prepare 500 grams of plain flour, 200 grams of lukewarm water, 90 grams olive oil, and finally one teaspoon of fine salt. Me personally, I like spicy food, so I added some black pepper and smoked paprika, but that's completely optional. Mix flour with salt, pour olive oil, mix and add water. Mix till it comes together and then continue kneading with your hands. It is very important step as kneading process helps to stretch and develop the gluten strands in the dough. Well developed gluten gives the result of elastic, pliable and strong dough. This step takes around few minutes. You will notice that the dough becomes more dry and smooth. This is where we stop. Form the bowl, cover and leave it to rest in the fridge for at least two hours. I actually like to prepare my dough a day in advance and leave it overnight in the fridge as the dough is completely rested. Filling Here are the ingredients I like to use for my empanadas filling. Simple, nutritious, not expensive and muy delicioso. Please find the quantities in this video description. Plus feel free to check my previous video as I talk about vegetable filling and spices perfectly accompanying it. First, heat up your pan, add your onions followed by salt and pepper. Add sliced bell peppers, grated carrots, and now it's the moment where the spices come into the game. Add black onion and nigella seeds, small paprika. Let it blend all together and keep frying on a low heat. Add cubed tofu. Once it's nearly done, add tomato paste and lemon juice. By the way, do not bend squeezed lemon. Drop the whole thing in a pan as it gives additional flavor plus reduce the waste. Very last step, add chopped chives, nutritional yeast, sumac, nada mas. Take it off the heat and let this juicy filling cool down before we start assembling empanadas. Shaping. Once it's rested, divide the dough into 40 grams bowl. And now, Roll one by one. Rotate every time you roll the dough till you get a circle, or at least something close to it. Place each disc on prepared piece of baking paper. Stack them on top of each other and please make sure they don't touch as it may stick. The thickness of the dough does also depend on you. I personally like quite thin, but if you like to feel thicker dough, it's absolutely fine. Chill your dough discs again. For faster results, you can put them in a freezer for a bit. Assembly. The hard job is done. What's left is just to add a few tablespoons of chilled filling and close the empanadas. I find this part quite rewarding and fun. Last thing before baking, real quick, let's make the vegan egg wash. Mix some plant-based milk, a little bit of olive oil, a pinch of turmeric, brush your empanaditas 
and bake for around 30-40 minutes or 175 degrees and serve it hot. That's my version of vegan empanadas. Enjoy and see you next time.